Welcome to another edition of Africa Sideways. My name is Big Six Simpson coming to you here from Cape Town in South Africa. There's been some monster fires. Needed to get eight helicopters down here spraying water. Four days of non-stop action for the firefighters. Been some brave work by the men in red. Here it comes, only on Africa Sideways. Meaty helicopters coming in. Proper bell numbers here, yeah. filling up from the nearby flow. This is coming over my bloody house, I'll let you know. Out the back window, got the slow motion going, ladies and gentlemen. This is the early doors, uh, I think the second day. Been burning a bit overnight, it wasn't too bad at this stage. As you can see, the winds are howling. We had three helicopters running at, at once. Amazing amount of water being carried there. Must be a good thousand meters. I thought they only used fresh water, but I, I saw that in the Cork Bay, the Cork Bay, they were using uh, salt water, I guess, because it was getting pretty hairy down there. So, but I think preferably you'd want to use fresh water on this kind of thing. right down low. They don't really spray the fire, they spray the the felt just in front of the fire. I guess to try and create some kind of a moisture barrier. This oak is coming in really low. One pilot did lose his life in, in, uh, in the four or five days of the fire and elsewhere. So I thought to go out to him and his family. Good job done by the helicopter pilots. But that's just the start of it. It's just as one fire goes out, another one starts. I had to borrow, we get in the army helicopter. Oh, this is a big number, this was the biggest helicopter on show. Kids are running to check this out. As you can well imagine. I think the bucket on, the bucket on this one looked bigger than, than the, the other helicopters. So this looks like it's got a bit more pooling power but it's not quite as fast it's like the truck of the skies here we go the bell hueys get a nice beefy sound off these guys ladies and gentlemen and the sun play dropping in the buckets Got a bit of bit of wind blast there from the, from the turbulence. Proper bangers these things. Yeah, so you see the winds dropped, but yes, it's a little bit easier. They can get a bit closer to the fire and get it more precise with the, with the dumping. Just as the wind dies, you can see there's still a fair old oak trees and those palm trees. I think there's two or three helicopters out here at the moment. This is in Lakeside, just about two k's from Musenberg, Table Mountain. Venting it in there. In comes the next one. Couldn't get the water in fast enough, these blokes. 
real tough pilots. Marina de Gama in the background. Nice classical music. That uh, suits the mood of the fire. Somber and exciting all at once. So it's starting to flame a bit more seriously now. Big ass fire. Venting back. Some pilots go a bit faster than others more ballsy. Yours truly on the camera work here, ladies and gentlemen. Last one did a runner, so if you want thumbing down proper, you do it yourself. I wonder what kind of engines you got on that. That must be like a tank engine. Sounds like a fucking orgasm of the sky, whatever that means. Fenting over the reeds. Hope you know how to fly. It's starting to spread. The fire seemed to go more laterally than horizontally. <clears throat> Burn almost along a path. Another round of water. And back to the fires. See the famed Table Mountain in the background. Luckily, it didn't reach that far. But there's also some indigenous forest, so it's a little bit more lush down there. One last spray of this one, and then off to the Takai Forest where it's all happening. Cape Town Burn. Only on Africa sideways. And this is where they were going to. This is Takai Plantation at night time. You can see the glow there. It's all happening. That's like around Swanswick area. A couple of farms got nailed. Thoughts go out to those who got their houses burnt. You get a lot of wallies that just come to watch it. You know, it's like a scenic tour for them, clogging up the roads. Taking the turn up Okaps of Vech. This is about three or four days after the big Cape Town fires. You can see quite a bit of damage on, on the left hand side on the hill. Used to be full of fain boss. Now there is only charred remains. Houses on the right show were really in trouble. A lot of them had to get evacuated because as you can see the fire almost jumped the road here and that's straight into Millionaire's Row in Steenburg housing estate plenty of damage here, charred out remains but apparently the, the fane boss here hadn't burned from 15 to 20 years so it is mother nature's way of 
reproducing with a fane boss, especially with the Proteas, but it's a hell of a thing when you're living at more so when your house is about to get burnt down. Coming around the hairpin corner here. Pretty much a burnout on the right hand side there. You can see the charred remains on the left. Quite a sight as we're coming up Okalpsevech. Beautiful view of the city to the left. And straight up the straightaway here. Uh, you can see on, on the low side all burnt out. They had something like five or six helicopters going full time to try and put this thing out. Hundreds of firefighters from all around the country. Really, and some people are saying that there was possible arson involved, which would be hideous to think about when you think about all the animals that they got trapped in this thing. Sure, natural fire is one thing, but unnatural arson. That's just for arseholes, really. Coming up to the top of Silver Mine here. One of the most beautiful parts of Cape Town that's just been hammered by this fire. You can see the desert-like sandy remains. That used to be thick, Fane Ross. Big shame. And on we go, and that's still pretty much a bit of a washout, yeah. Coming to the summit of the hill. Burnt all the way to those mountains in the in the background, probably about 10 k's down there at least. It looks like Clifton Fourth Beach on the left now. Sad but true. Anyway, it'll all bounce back in the fullness of time. Just Mother Nature doing its thing. Caused havoc to the road system. This persists oh, cost of effort closed for most of the time. Forcing people to use main road. And that's all folks. Have yourself a safe and pleasant evening.